Freddie Davis here, president of Market Faith Ministries, coming to you once again from the library. Market Faith Ministries provides radical disciple training to help believers become more knowledgeable of and confident in their Christian faith. We often hear about the liberal media bias, and frankly, we see examples of it nearly every day. But most of the bias has to do simply with the slant of news stories. It is less often that we see direct assaults. But recently, we saw a direct assault on a man based on his Christian beliefs. On the CBS News show, Face the Nation, the host, Bob Schaefer, invited Family Research Council President Tony Perkins on to talk about the Supreme Court taking up the same-sex marriage issue. But what was supposed to be a cordial conversation turned out to be an ambush. To his face, Schaefer called the Family Research Council an anti-gay hate group, and he did this based on a categorization by the Southern Poverty Law Center, which is a radical left-wing hate group in its own right. In fact, the Family Research Council is a Christian organization whose purpose is to advocate for strengthening the family using biblical principles as its foundation. They are no more a hate group than your own local Bible-believing church. It is terribly unfortunate that our nation has come to this, but it is the nature of things in our day. While this may seem like something very distant from you as someone who will probably never be interviewed on national TV, it really is not. What happened on that show to Tony Perkins will happen to you in daily life if you dare express your Christian beliefs in public. So what are we to do? Just shut up? No, we must not do that. We must, in love, stand up to the bullying. But in order to do that, you must be prepared for it. You need to understand not only your own Christian beliefs, but the beliefs of those who are attacking you. You need to know that in order to challenge the assumptions they are making about you, you have to get this information as a part of your own life. And this is very doable because we as Christians stand on the side of truth. Attacks on our faith are based on the beliefs of a different religious faith that are simply not true. We do, of course, need to make our defense with a heart of love. Our attackers are obviously separated from God and need to be loved, but we do need to stand up to them. Our purpose at Market Faith Ministries is to teach and train Christians to understand how worldview beliefs affect what goes on in the culture. You can find out more about Worldview and its practical implications at www.marketfaith.org. Contact us and let's explore how we can help you in this quest.